In this video, we'll show you how to use Jamkazam's metronome feature to play better sessions when latency is higher than ideal. The Jamkazam metronome is not just a normal metronome. It's much more. Let's start with a quick and simple explanation of what it is in the most basic sense. Jamkazam's metronome is a real-time, distributed metronome in which all computers in a session are synchronized precisely to a master clock and then play local metronomes that are precisely synchronized to each user in the session. Now let's get into the details and explain why this is so awesome and how it can help you play better sessions. All musicians intuitively grasp the idea that if latency is too high in online distributed sessions, it can be hard or even impossible to play in sync with each other. What is less obvious is that the burden of latency falls twice as hard on whichever musician is setting the tempo for the session. Let's say this is a drummer. When the drummer strikes a drum, it takes time, or latency, for the sound of this drum strike to reach the ears of, say, a guitar player in the session. The guitar player then plays right on top of that drum beat when she hears it. It then takes the same amount of time for the sound of the guitar strum to reach the ears of the drummer. The effect of this is that to the guitar player it sounds like she is playing perfectly in sync with the drummer because she is playing right on top of the beat she hears from the drummer but the drummer hears his own drum strike instantly and then has to wait for the time for his drum strike to reach the guitar player plus the time for the guitar strum to come back to his ears. So the guitar player is perfectly happy while the drummer struggles to keep the tempo because he hears the guitar playing constantly behind his beat. One thing we've noticed, and Jam Kazam musicians have noticed, is that playing a backing track like a drum loop or an instrumental backing track helps make sessions with higher latency work better. This is because the backing track can keep the tempo stable without being distracted by the latency of musicians playing a little behind the beat. So a backing track helps, but it's not ideal. Why? Because all of the remote musicians in the session are still playing when they hear the beat of the backing track, which is delayed slightly compared to when the backing track actually plays, much like the example of the drummer earlier. Okay, so then what's a better way? We had to think about this one for a long time, and then file a patent on it. The best answer is a distributed real-time metronome, and here's how it basically works. Think of a master clock that is accurate to a single millisecond of precision. Then think of a few musicians in a Jamkazam session. Now imagine that each musician's computer talks to the master clock and gets its time synchronized precisely to the master clock's time, so that all the computers in the session are operating on exactly the same time clock, accurate to within a couple of milliseconds. Now let's say that each computer is capable of playing a local metronome back to each musician and mixing the audio of the metronome with the audio of all musicians playing in the session. With this innovation, all the musicians in the session can literally play in perfect synchronization with each other by playing to the beat of each local metronome. And the metronome bears the burden of keeping the tempo, so this burden does not fall on any one human musician. There is still latency in the time it takes each musician's audio to reach the other musicians in the session, but this is mitigated substantially by the metronome, enabling musicians to play together effectively in scenarios where latency is higher than ideal. The implementation of the idea is much more complex, but this is the basic concept. Now that you understand the concept, let's look at how you can use the metronome. To use the metronome, get into a Jamkazam session and click the link to Use Metronome. When you do this, the metronome controls will be displayed to you and to each other musician in the session. Select the tempo you want, and then click the play button to start the metronome. The metronome will start playing to you and all other musicians in the session. You can change the sound of the metronome, and you can change the volume of the metronome. If you change the sound or volume, this only affects your local metronome playback. It does not change the volume or sound played by other musicians' metronomes. You can also change the tempo of the metronome. Changing the tempo changes the tempo for all musicians in the session, for obvious reasons. If you can't hear the metronome because your instrument is too loud, or if you prefer not to use an audible metronome, you can also choose to display the metronome visually and either let the metronome audio play or mute the audio. There are a couple of other very cool things to know about the metronome feature. One is that the audio from the metronome is only played back to the musicians in the session in each musician's personal mix. The metronome audio is not included in the master mix, and so the metronome audio is not included in any recordings or any live broadcasts of the session audio. The other feature worth noting is a special feature called a cluster test. 
This one may scramble your brain just a little bit, but it's worth understanding. So here goes. In the cluster test, each local metronome is played back into the headphones of each musician in the session. Plus, we also stream the audio of each musician's local metronome to all the other musicians in the session. So when you run a cluster test, you hear your own metronome plus the metronomes from the other musicians with whatever amount of latency exists in the streamed audio from the other computers in the session. The reason that this is such an innovative and useful feature is that it gives you an extremely intuitive, simple, and accurate way to hear and understand how much latency exists in your session. The reason we call it a cluster test is that you want the sound of all the metronomes to be as tightly clustered as possible together to have a tight session. For example, here is the sound of just my own local metronome playing back into my headphones. Now here is the sound of the cluster test with me and two other musicians in it in Texas in a session that we would score as yellow or fair in terms of latency. You can hear that the streamed audio of the other musician's metronomes is not quite exactly on top of my local metronome, but they are very tightly clustered, and as a result, we can play in a good online session. Now let's check out a cluster test in which I'm in a session and located in Texas with two other musicians, one on the East Coast in North Carolina and one on the West Coast in California. There is much higher latency in this session. I have an 80 millisecond ping time to California and a 60 millisecond ping time to North Carolina from where I am, which is quite a bit of latency. In fact, we would score this session past red into the unacceptable zone. But listen to the cluster test in this session. You can hear that the metronome clicks are a little bit less tightly clustered due to the higher latency, and thus the session will be a little harder to play but they are still amazingly tight given the amount of latency. This is the power of the distributed real-time metronome. That's about it for the metronome feature on Jamkazam. It's a very powerful feature and it will help you have better online sessions. Thanks for watching this video and we hope it was helpful.